So I looked in the bedroom, the purse was gone. The words of 92-year-old Clara, a senior citizen robbed of money in her golden years. It's an all too familiar crime. I need to read your meter. Oh, gas or electric? Electric. The man who stole Clara's money gained entry to her home by posing as a utility company employee. After being led to the attic to supposedly read the electric meter, the imposter found a way to case the rest of the home. I need to use your bathroom. Um, could you oh, tell me where that yeah, is? Yeah, right back there at the first door to your right. Now, Clara did become suspicious and moved her purse to the bedroom. But that didn't stop this thief, who waited for an opportune moment and then made his getaway. So you, what, you, what you should do from now on is call before you let him in, right? Yes, I know it. That was a dumb thing to do, but never. I said, well, I'm honest. I think everybody else is honest. Clara was lucky. This crime could have been much worse. She wasn't hurt, and all that was taken was her purse and some money. But there are ways that folks like Clara can protect themselves from this kind of crime. We don't want to make people afraid, but certainly anyone that wants to get in the house, I would want to know who they are. And that's why local utility companies make sure that all their employees carry identification cards like these. New York State Electric and Gas employees normally have a picture ID, and I think that most of the other utilities and legitimate government agencies would have something similar. Safety experts also say you should check outside for vehicles. Utility or government cars and trucks should have some sort of marking on them. And if you're still not sure if you should let a stranger in your house, then call whoever they say they work for. If a legitimate employee comes to your door, they don't mind if they have to wait outside. Well, you go back and call that company and, and check out their identification. You know, so the legitimate person won't mind those extra few minutes. And the person who's not legitimate in that time period may <laughs> well, leave. Hopefully they'll run away, yes. We think that's what will happen.